Hello, this is Chris Menard. Today I've got three tips for using the Outlook mobile app. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the Outlook mobile app on the screen. There's my phone right there. There are my emails. I am using Outlook. So tip number one is to schedule when you want to reply to an email. Everyone's busy and we get emails throughout the day and we need to reply to them, but some emails I don't want to reply to right now, but I want to be notified about the email later. So tip number one, I'm also going to reference the mobile app and the desktop. So here's my desktop. I am running, in case you're wondering, Office 365, but I'm an Alec on the desktop app. There are my emails. Back to the mobile app. So, um, as an example, Carol Martin asked for the IT budget for 2021. You can see it right there on the screen at 10.15 a.m. I need to answer that email because I'm in charge of the budget, but I don't have time to answer it now. I'm going to do a swipe right, and it says schedule this message. So it's going to disappear from my inbox and go to a scheduled folder. It does it on the mobile app and it does it on the desktop. So I could do later today. It is Sunday, it's 12.20 p.m. right now. I'm going to do choose a time. October 13th is the day. I'm going to do 1 p.m. When I click OK, this email disappears from here on my mobile app and it disappears from the desktop app as soon as I hit schedule. It just disappeared. Back over in the desktop app, there is scheduled right there. That email was from Carol Martin. IT budget for 2021. So there it is on the Outlook desktop app. And if I go to my mobile app, there is scheduled. And it's sitting right there. And at 1 p.m., that's when I scheduled it, it'll go back to my inbox and it'll shoot up at the top. And I get the email notification because I tested that. I get the email notification also. So that's really what I wanted. So that's a great tip. That's tip number one. Tip number two. Let me get back to my inbox. Tip number two is I have emails and... Um, Art Vandalay is saying, can we meet together about the changes? I'm going to click that email. I'm going to, they're the default answers down below, but I know we need to get together today. So I'm going to do a reply. I'm going to do a reply. Notice when you hit reply, a lot of people never catch this. The paper clip is obviously for attachments. The camera is obviously to take a picture, but sitting next to it is the calendar with the plus sign. So before I do this, let me jump back to the desktop. Here's my calendar for today. Today is the 13th. So I've got some free time to meet with Art. So here we go. Back on the mobile app. I'm going to click the plus symbol on the calendar. Send availability, sure. There's my calendar for the day. So what it wants to know on my mobile app is when can you meet with Art? Instead of us going back and forth, I'm going to pick some times. It does 30 minute increments by default, so I'm going to do 4 to 4.30. But I can also fit him in between 2.30 and 3 p.m. Check mark is up in the top right corner. Look at that email right there. It put in some here some times that work for me automatically. I didn't do that. I'm going to send that email again in the top right corner. Sent. So when I was making this video, I'm like, well, what does it look like over on his email when he receives that? So let's go take a look at that. I'm going to jump screens again. 
so I have Art Vandalay running here. Let me just do a quick refresh. Uh, here are some times that work for me on Sunday up at the very top. I click here. Let me just open the email up. He's using dark mode, by the way, which you can turn on dark mode in your Outlook now. Here are some times that work for me. 2.30 to 3. 3.30 to 4. So that's a pretty cool feature right there. So let's do a quick review. We've covered schedule in Outlook when you want to delay when you want to answer a meeting. We've covered share availability. That was the calendar trick I just did. Tip number three I have. Let me get back here to my mobile app. Tip number three. I'm going to, I'm on my inbox. I'm going to click search, which is located down at the bottom. Looks like a magnifying glass. When I click search, there is create up at the top. I have been at a trade show and I collected some business cards. And I'm talking with someone, and you know this happens all the time. They either only have a few business cards or you get a business card, you're like, oh, I want to stick this on my Outlook contacts. So there's create with the plus symbol. I'm going to click it. Scan business card. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Picked up my name, Chris Menard. It's got my blog website. It picked up my YouTube, which is correct. That's how you get to my YouTube channel. That is how you get to my LinkedIn profile. Uh, add to existing. save. There you go. I just scanned a business card using the Outlook mobile app. So let me go back here. Last tip. So I've actually covered, if you notice back in my little OneNote, contacts. I just showed you that one. A bonus tip, and I love this feature, is Carol Martin's email. Oh, let me get back to my Outlook mobile. Carol Martin's email says capital equipment. And when I open that email, Carol Martin's email that says 401 K and holiday schedule. When I open that email, if you notice at the top, it was sent to me. And it was sent to Art Vandalay, plus it was sent to one other person. That is the plus symbol sitting up there. So I was just making up stuff. But you can see there's three emails in there. So even in Outlook, when you do a reply, reply to all, the at symbol feature still works. At, because Art Vandalay is in charge of the holiday schedule for 2021. So I'm going to start typing in Art Vandalay. And then I'm also going to do, and I could type in the text afterwards, have you come with the date yet for 2021? But for the 401k, I want to point out to the other person on this email. And so it knows who's on this email. And you can type in text after that and then just send it off. So I'm going to send this email. In case you're wondering, how does that at symbol look when they receive it? Again, back to Art Vandalay's email. Holiday schedule. His name will show up highlighted. I love this at feature. And then he could read whatever it is I told him to look at. Comes in real happy, comes in real handy with long emails. So anyway, thank you for your time. There were the three Outlook mobile tips. Um and I showed you a bonus tip with the at mentions. At mentions also works on Outlook on the web. And it even works in my desktop app for Outlook. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great Sunday.